Back to the grind for a guide on the Red Goblin boss in Act 7.3, quest number one, without using Ronin as a cheese. Now, Red Goblin is still a pretty easy boss fight, even without the Ronin cheese, because it's a fairly straightforward fight if you follow a few guidelines. The one thing you don't want to do is nullify buffs, because as you can see, he then gains a ton of power for each buff nullified and goes straight to a special three. Now, if you had hard power control, then you could bypass that, but you can do this fight with any champion. And we're going in with Cable just for fun. And it's an okay fight, but it's not ideal because you do want to do lots of parry heavies um, in order to get the degen damage because that's where most of the damage come from. The problem is throughout the fight, based on how many debuffs have been applied to Red Goblin, he gains Fury buffs every 10 seconds. I believe it's 10 seconds. So he gets a ton of Fury buffs. So he even deals tons of damage into the block, even when you parry. So you want to avoid that as much as possible. Now, Red Goblin can get Energized buffs, which allows you to more easily push him over one bar of power, which allows you to bait out his special ones and counter that very easily. Also, when he throws a special attack and for each dex that you trigger from his special attack, he'll get a burnout charge. And once he hits 10, he's going to be power locked. So we're going to see that right here. We dex for the 10th one. Now he's completely power locked. And every time you attack into him, you can trigger a passive degen. Unfortunately, they cannot stack. So you can only trigger it again once it ends for the, uh, once that prior one ends. So you want to try to trigger it as many times as possible before the power lock ends. This also allows you to, in some situations, push him into the corner and spam heavy attacks while he's power locked. And that can be very useful depending on the champion that you're using. So you can see we've got him down to about 60% with the degens and we've been using special twos when we get the chance and now we're down to only a couple burnout charges. We're skipping ahead for this next special attack where we're going to trigger the next burnout, uh, the 10th burnout charge and we've got him power locked. Now we're pushing him towards the corner. I throw off a heavy attack and now we've got him pretty close into the corner where I'm going to be able to parry heavy attack and then spam heavy a few times in the corner while he's backed against the wall with that power lock and then once it ended we had a a little bit of time left before he got to three bars of or for, to a full bar of power throwing off another special one for some decent damage but most of the damage comes from the degens now another option we have diablo here but remember don't trigger the pre-fight that will allow you to nullify buffs because that's going to give him a ton of power and he'll put him straight to a special three so we've built up now to our own special three and we're going to get some very potent uh, poison debuffs. We're going to have 20 of them on him and you're going to see him melt pretty quickly. So now he's at about 63%, 62% by the time that special three ends. Look at those 20 poison debuffs. Unfortunately, because we can't nullify, we can't take advantage of Mystic Dispersion to spam a bunch of, of our special attacks to pause and prolong those poisons. But before they expire, we've got him down below 40%, 35%, 33 actually. Uh, so that was a massive amount of damage that we did with that special three and all those poisons debuffs that we applied and then other than that it goes back to a pretty simple straightforward fight where you bait out the easy special one push him to 10 burnout charges and take advantage of the power lock and the degen that you can trigger from attacking him while he is power locked it's a pretty straightforward fight but it can take a little long depending on who you're using but you can do this fight with anyone as long as you're not nullifying debuffs um, and of course if you want the ronin cheese that's an option let me know what your thoughts are and i hope to see you in the next video